Today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how you can actually install Google Apps and services on your Huawei smartphone. Aside from that, I've also experienced some particular issues and I'll be sharing with you on how you can actually resolve that one in this video. So if you've just recently purchased Huawei smartphone this 2022 or even just last year, most probably you've noticed that there's still no Google Play services or Google Play Store on your Huawei smartphone. Hence, we're going to fix that by using the GSpace method. You simply go ahead and open up your smartphone and then make sure to unlock your smartphone. And then go ahead and open up the app gallery of Huawei. And then go to the Me tab and make sure that you have the updated version or the latest version of the Huawei app gallery. Then once you're sure that you have the latest version, just simply go to the apps and then just search GSpace on the search bar. Go ahead and click the GSpace app and then just make sure to install this particular app and right now I have it already installed so I'm just going to click the open button right here. As you can see, you'll be shown now with all of the apps right here such as the Facebook, YouTube, Gmail, Google Classroom, Docs, etc. that are actually not available on the Huawei app gallery. This can be installed via the GSpace app which actually enables the Google Play services on your smartphone on top of the Huawei mobile services. In order to install a particular app, just simply click on the app. Let's say we are going to install this YouTube Music app. Currently, I have already installed this app such as the Facebook, YouTube, and uh, hence you can see that they no longer have that particular hot icon or the flaming icon on top of their icon. So I'm just going to click on this YouTube music just to demonstrate on what would it look like to install a particular app. It will actually lead you to the Google Play Store as you can see right here and uh, it will basically install the app for you. If you want to install other apps aside from that particular app that was listed on the GSpace app, all you have to do is go back and then go ahead and search for that particular app or game that you are looking for and then you can just basically install it just as to how you would normally do it on Google Play Store. Once installed, you could go back to the GSpace app and that app that you've just installed will actually appear on this list right here. All you have to do is just long press on that particular icon and then click on the create shortcut which will basically create a shortcut on your home screen. And if you'd notice, those shortcuts that have been created from GSpace actually have have that particular icon on the lower right portion of the app that the shortcut is actually made from the GSpace app. But upon using this particular method, what I notice is that this app actually drains a lot of battery power from your smartphone. Hence, I'm going to show you how to fix that if you want to prolong the battery power of your Huawei smartphone. But before I show you how to fix that, here's a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the buy now button. I know their licensed keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, going back, the cause for this particular issue is that the GSpace is actually emulating the Google Play services and is not a native Google Play service on your smartphone, hence it consumes more battery power from your smartphone if it is running on the background. To fix the battery consumption issue with regards to GSpace, all you have to do is go to the settings on your smartphone or your Huawei smartphones and then go to the uh, apps and services. Just click on the app and then search on the search bar GSpace and then click on GSpace and you'll be able to see here all of these options right here. What we're interested in is this power usage details and then go to the launch settings. By default, you'll be shown with this setting right here wherein the launch setting is set to managed automatically. All you have to do is disable this manage automatically and then disable the auto launch, disable the secondary launch and most importantly disable the run in the background. Once done, hit the OK button and basically you've fixed the issue that could possibly drain your battery power without you knowing. 
However, the downside of disabling the G space from running on the background is that you won't get push notifications from the G space. However, I think that's tolerable compared to having your smartphone draining way so much faster than it's supposed to be. So that's it. Hopefully, I managed to teach you on how you can actually install Google Apps on your Huawei devices this 2022. If you want to watch the camera comparison that I've made between the iPhone X and the Huawei Nova 9, just simply click on this card right here. And also, if you want to get updated with the videos on this channel, just click on the subscribe button right here. Again, it's your Takedid here. See you in my next tech videos.